What's up guys, Beko here with another tips and how-to tricks for Magicka 2. From my understanding, uh, playing Magicka 2 uh, via Steam is not running correctly. It's got a function to where like, it for some reason shows the Steam logo for a button that you can't press. Uh, which is the elemental wheel button feature. It's bugged. That feature is bugged. It's all over the internet from what I'm seeing. There's no quick hat fix. But I found a quick workaround that's quick and easy using Steam's uh, button mapping through Steam Big Picture Mode or whatever it's called. I forget what it is. But anyway, this is how you do it. You go to uh, settings and then which my camera here is in the way but the very end is key bindings. You're clicking on that and then just hit accept. Now, what you're going to do is not mess with anything in this menu. This is the Steam configuration controller configurator. Uh, don't mess with anything here where, that I have highlighted here. It says me menu controls. Everything works fine for that. Don't mess with all that. Go to in-game controls, which is to the right. Click on that. Now, as you can see, everything is a little bit different from what you've got, for probably from your settings. This is how I already have it set up. Typically, down here on the bottom left, it would say quick uh quick hotkey menu you know one two three and four remove those click on uh this your d-pad function here and then set it to up or life you know up for life or whatever however you want to set it up for just make it sure that you switch these to the other elements that you can't access this will allow you to access those elements, the other elements that are on the upper tier that you can't get to because the elemental wheel thing feature is not working because it's bugged. Once you have that all set up, then you just hit circle or back. And then once you get that all set up, there's the next most important thing that this is the important thing about having a PS5 and PS4 controller because it has the touchpad. Unfortunately, there is no workaround for, I mean, there's a workaround. You just won't be able to look at the spells of how to do it. You're going to have to write it down or to be able to memorize how to revive your teammates if you if you can't remember everything around the spot. You're going to have to have like a sheet of paper or something to help you remember. But what you're going to need to do is make sure where well, you got two options. Make sure one is blank. You want to leave one blank because it it's it makes it easier on the controller so you don't have two features running at the same time. Uh, that way it's not confusing it. Leave one blank and just go here. Uh, now what you're going to need to do is set style of input to directional swipe. Then you will set the other features to open quick slot menu 1. Big slot oh, menu two and so forth and so forth. Then the most next important thing you need to do is go to scroll wheel mode on. It should already be set to off as default. You need to turn that sucker on or the, the touchpad thing here does not work correctly. It doesn't work. And then just hit back and you're all set. Like so. Now everything should be set up for you. Uh, if you want to see a demonstration, give me a second and I will set up a game and I'll show you how the D-pad works. All right. All right. As you can see, we're in game. And now what you're going to do is, as you can see how it's got the Steam icon thing that I was telling you about. Uh, don't worry about that. But as you can see, by pressing the D-pad, I am able to use the other elements. Let's see how even. Ow, ow, ow. I'm able to use them. I'm going to just heal myself here. All right. Now, to use the hotkey quick access menu, what you're going to do is, like, slide down. There you go. See, revive. It brings it up. And to get rid of it, you press the back button. And it goes away. You want to see? It's just how you set it up for the keys will bring it up. Like so. Uh, mine's not that responsive. I guess I'm not swiping because I'm not used to doing it. I'm not used to touching this touchpad very often, but it works. Uh, it works. I got a quick workaround. Hopefully it all works for you. Let me know in the comments below if this is helping you. If it's not, let me know and I can help you get it set up because I got it set up. It took me a while. I didn't expect to spend my evening trying to set that up, but I got it to set up. Um, hopefully this works for you. Uh, thank you all for watching. And again, I'm sorry. This is not a quick workaround for the Xbox controllers, the 360 and Xbox One controller. I understand those are having issues, but because they don't have the touchpad, I don't know what to tell you. Let me know in the comments below again. Thank you all for watching. I'll talk to you all later. Peace.